Animation is the superior format and live action adaptations are always a mistake. The two easy exceptions are Bumblebee which was pretty decent and Beauty and the Beast, nearly a frame for frame remake so not terrible, but certainly not as good as the original. But generally speaking live action versions of children's books, Cat in the Hat, Grinch, cartoons, Flintstones, Scooby-Doo, and comics, Garfield, Dennis the Menace, Casper, are a shit show. They haven't ever gotten it right because you really can't get it right. The only reason Bumblebee is an exception is the quality of the animation which is to say it was good only as much as it was animated. Bottom line, real actors can't compete with animations and we should stop trying, agree with everything except Scooby-Doo. The live action was a masterpiece. That's exactly why Star Wars The Clone Wars is better than the prequels. There is no superior format, they're well suited for different things. Animation allows you to suspend disbelief longer so you can actually push the boundaries of what you're presenting further without fighting against the audience. At the same time, a scene will never feel as real as what can be produced through live action. You are right. Real actors can't compete with animations and we should stop trying. But that's not the reason. The live action Adams Family movies from the 90s were better than either cartoon series. Beauty and the Beast was bad. The models had way less expression than the 2D counterparts and they tried so hard to fix a plot that didn't need fixing, e. g. No one needed to know where Mr. Potts was or why the townspeople didn't know about the castle. Anime boobs real boobs. The Jungle Book live action movie was another exception, Imo. I liked that more than the original. Also, I loved the Casper movie when I was young. It always makes me laugh how much live action adaptations have to rely on animation. Take Battle Angel Alita as an example. Everything was animated even the damn character's face. After you have spent all that time and money trying to make CG look realistic enough to fit a live action setting, it would have been so much quicker, easier, and cheaper just to animate the whole thing. The Last Airbender, Dragon Ball, Evolution, The Netflix Death Note. All literal garbage to the point their fandoms refuse to acknowledge their existence. Beauty and the Beast was not good at all, Belle was miscast and the wokeness panders were not an improvement. Rebuttal, the first two acts of The Lion, The Witch, and The Wardrobe is exactly what my tiny child mind pictured. I agree, Batman vs Dracula, 2005. Trump's all. Iron Man, 2008, was amazing. Sure may live action films flop but they're definitely some good live action adaptations. Completely disagree. If you're talking about the Emma Watson beauty and the beast it's definitely not frame for frame. Edit, the Cinderella remake is much better than beauty and the beast. I think the terrible ones get noticed a lot more than the good ones, which is probably why you feel they're all bad. For instance, Netflix's live-action adaptation of Death Note was garbage, but a lot of people don't realize the live-action Death Notes they made over a decade ago were good enough emo. Also, from another perspective, the MCU is widely popular, and is in a way a live-action representation of Marvel comic books in general. Not exactly unpopular. Maybe one day there will be an actual unpopular opinion post with thousands of upvotes and not just controversial topics. I turned of Beauty and the Beast maybe 30 minutes in because I couldn't stand it. Really, it's shit. The advantage with live action is real actors, showing real emotions. There are a lot of advantages with animation but it also way too often comes with cold and stiff characters. They are different mediums and the mistake is made someone decides to transfer something from one to the other without knowing shit about what he's doing which is most often the case with live-action adaptations of animated films. Illustration is an art form, one that we disgustingly discarded because it's cheaper to computer animate than to have a team of illustrators actually draw the panels. I fear by now the art form is almost entirely lost. Many schools just don't even teach it anymore. Look at the modern cartoons compared to the artwork of older Disney movies and Warner Brothers cartoons. They moved so much more artistically back then. Now all the characters are squared off. Blocky looking. 
and move stiffly. Anime might be all we have left now. Backslash PTSD flashbacks to Attack on Titan live action backslash, I disagree. There are some live actions that are really good I think they just end up bad if they either 1, stay too close to the source material or 2, drift too far away. There's a sweet spot that creates a good live action spin-off. For example, I like the movie Maleficent. I thought it was cool to see a retelling of Sleeping Beauty from the villain's POV. Sure, it had its weak points, cough, the fairies, cough, but overall, it was a good movie. Although, I'll admit that some animations just aren't made for live action. I'm looking forward to the live action Mulan though, I think that looks promising. Interestingly MGM's, live action, The Wizard of Oz, whose 1939 special effects still hold up for the most part, incidentally, was made in response to Disney's, animated, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, Disney did eventually strike back and made Return to Oz and Oz, The Great and Powerful, which are technically not sequels to MGM's film as they are officially different adaptations of the public domain L. Frank Baum source material, it's called Unpopular Opinions. While I agree with you, I've never really seen anyone praise live action adaptations. There is weird trend in Hollywood where studios seem to be feverishly adapting animated IPs into live action as if it's their mission to replace all animated movies. I think executives forget that people like animation. It's an art form all its own. We don't need a live action Akira, case by case basis and preference. I agree with the second half. Just make new movies with new plots and characters. Stop selling us shit we already bought. As far as animation vs live action, I believe there's a time and a place for both. They're both great. So every single MCU film is bad just because they're live action adaptations. Didn't watch the anime but Alita Battle Angel was pretty good. Agree, except for saying Beauty and the Beast live action was good. I can't imagine a live action Akira working nearly as well as the animated version, However I also can't imagine an animated version of Brazil having the same bizarre appeal. Just my thoughts though. Not only Bumblebee, in my opinion TF1 to 3 were also pretty good, especially 2. Depends if as a porn aficionado I'd argue live action porn is always better. I hated Bumblebee so much. It was such a bad movie. I'd argue Casper was actually pretty good with the mix of live action and animation. I agree, they often lack the same soul the original have. Animation is the superior format. False. Live action adaptations are always a mistake. True. I agree but the live action Grinch and Scooby-Doo movies were gifts to this world. I'd re-watch those today. I completely agree. With live action movies, colors and facial expressions can't be exaggerated as to not ruin the realism, which makes it pretty boring. Even if they try to exaggerate the colors like in the originals, it always ends up looking weird and plastic if you know what I mean. LOL The Avatar The Last Airbender Movie My childhood would like me mention both Popeye with Robin Williams, which was awesome, and Super Mario. Which was both terrible and awesome at the same time, but likely only because I was so young and hyped about it I couldn't help but love it even though it was pretty bad. With those two exceptions in mind I tend to agree, it's not that one is superior to the other. It's that they are almost completely different formats, and are incompatible as replacements for each other. What makes animated stories beautiful is that they are animated. Animation is not something we need to make realistic. Artists and writers design their storytelling around the animation. Not only this, but the stories are often blatantly fictional in the first place, including things like genies. Live action animation is a gimmick at best because of this fact. Yet people continue to support these cash grabs because they don't know any better. It would be significantly better to spend your money on another animated title than support the remakes, but I guess it's too late to fix that. How dare you talk shit about the live action Cat in the Hat, Grinch, and Scooby-Doo. The two easy exceptions are Bumblebee which was pretty decent and Beauty and the Beast. This is the worst opinion I've ever seen and this is a major reason as to why.
watch a good movie, yeah dip. I pray that everyone agreeing just didn't realize Op is talking about all movies in general. Agree. There's so much you can do in animation that you can't do in live action. This is anime but it's the quickest reference Jay have at the moment. HTTPS colon slash slash you do b slash v 36 j underscore evk. Also look at Avatar The Last Airbender and other shows and films. I don't think this opinion is unpopular. Beauty and the Beast doesn't count because they just self-plagiarized a better film. I don't know, being able to stare at Emma Watson for an hour and a half is pretty tough to beat. Slash r slash popular opinions pose engage in popular opinions. It really just depends like for example Trailer Park Boys was so much better live action. At the very least I agree with the Ariel case haha. No, I actually absolutely agree with all of it, Ariel is just the worst case. Beauty and the Beast live action sucked ass. They should have hired more vocally talented people. I love Emma Watson but like fuck man. I don't know about you, but I thought the live action Jungle Book was an incredible adaptation. Beauty and the Beast wasn't even close to a frame for frame remake. The only similar frames were the dance scene and when it showed the flower. Everything else wasn't even close. I don't know if I agree with the rest of the post, because I just came to say that, wrong. Animation cannot be better they're two different art forms, film and art and they can't entirely be prepared. Goofy cartoon movies that are still works of art exist, but lend itself to that goofy style much more. Realism and immersion are much more represented in filmmaking. Could you imagine something like Pulp Fiction being animated? It would make the film more tonally misguided. Also there is tons of beauty within film as well as animation, have you seen Lord of the Rings? The establishing shots wouldn't have as much impact, beauty, or realism in animation.